Hey people, welcome back to my childhood toys and games. Today I, if you watch any of my uh, G.I. Joe repairs, um, I mentioned in there something about some of them having rusty screws and what to do about that. Well, I got online and uh, uh, found uh, a few places out there. These uh, I picked these up off of eBay. I think it was like five sixty-five. It was just under six dollars, and that was including shipping, which is pretty dirt cheap. But you know, if you're talking about a handful of screws, so uh, I can't remember how many. It was like twenty or something. So anyhow. Uh, Let's open this up and see what we have here. Let's see if all that part. Oh well. Wow. This is just some kind of. This is uh, more of a spacer than anything. See, the, the screws are loose inside of here. See, so there's another one. Say free shipping, right? <laughs> all right? Hopefully, that's all of those. So, definitely need something to, to just kind of set those in. I'll use a lid here. a little install tool. So, and this is just all in this bag. I don't know if you see that. my little screws I ordered. Like I said, I got them off eBay for, I don't know if you can make that out or not. They're pretty, pretty tiny. Phillips. Alrighty, let's see. I know, I know my Storm Shadow has some rusty screws, so... over here Say, so I'm going to see what I can do to just do it like so. Now that if these work, I can pull them apart and as I replace the rubber bands or the O-rings, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> kind of scared. <laughs> I've had these things for forever. I 
to say forever, but not good. Well, um, 20, 30 years. Well, I can tell you right now, they do look a little shorter, though. Oops. So, I don't know how well that's going to work. Just don't know. So, It's like kind of having a little separated as I was unscrewing. You can see the seam there. So, I'm assuming we still have to. Yeah, I just don't know about this, folks. I mean, it's going in. Kind of a. Like I said, it kind of spaced out there. See if you can see the difference. See right there, the gap, and no gap there. So it started doing that whenever I unscrewed it. So I'm not entirely sure if these were glued together or what. Well, look, there it goes. Mm -hmm. It's just needs more tightening, and that's something I'm a little shy about doing for obvious reasons. Okay, that's still not. See right there near the knee joint it's popped out some, so I really don't want to just keep pulling these in and out. But I'm wondering if there isn't enough thread engagement with these screws. Because just a hair shorter. So, and I really don't want to keep inserting and inserting, but, yeah, see, it goes together, but, so, these screws are just a hair too short, so you can see the difference, wonder I inserted that screw and then this this is the control I guess you could say it hadn't been touched so it's back there so I guess you get what you pay for six bucks and it's not a, you know I mean they work on other things but it's definitely not working on here so let's take out the back screw and see if maybe it's the same as the back nope so I'm not gonna tighten it all the way because I know I'm gonna want to pull it out whenever I get some screws that fit right so Anyhow, yeah, yeah, that's that's a no-go, folks. It'd be better off if I just pulled those screws out and tried to clean them than it would be to try to use these. I mean, they're just a hair too short. I mean, they're the right thread, you know, the right diameter. Um, um, 
you know, Philip size and all, but uh, they're just a hair too short. It doesn't go in enough in to engage the other side. Well, you know, had to try, I suppose. Huh. You know, the really crappy thing about that is, you know, these things come from China, so you can just imagine how long they waited. Actually, they arrived a little earlier than what they said they were. What, they said like March 20th, <laughs> so they got here uh, early, but uh, just not good enough. Um, they're just not quite what I need. So the search continues. All right. Um, as you've seen, I, I tried these uh, these e eBay uh, leg and back screws, and they didn't do too well. So got online, started looking around, and uh, ran across uh, an interesting solution to my rusted screw problem. So, no guarantees here, but uh, I heard, especially all you uh, retro people might remember these, are these audio devices called cassette tapes. <laughs> Anyways, I ran across uh, some post articles where the screws in a cassette were the exact same screws for the legs and G.I. Joe's and your G.I. Joe action figures. Backs, I'm sure. Well, I don't know about exact same, but uh, I read that they work really well, so... Uh, I got on uh, line. <laughs> I have cassettes, but uh, I, none I really wanted to, you know, cannibalize. So uh, I got on eBay and found uh, some, you know, just lot of cassettes. You know, uh, an auction for, you know, like a dozen or so. I think it came out to like a dollar a cassette. I think there's about five screws in the cassette. So we're looking at, you know one and a half action figure being fixed so maybe 50 cents 60 cents so, now you know this was just an auction it was a un there was just a mixed batch of tapes i don't know what's in or on these tapes so maybe you know the nixon files all right hopefully i got some chrome uh screws in here let's see this here is Christmas sing along the wonderful singers silver circle tapes and you know what I don't see any screws <laughs> all right we're not off to this start all right here we go we got Memorex Maxwell something like that but it's got black screws uh, come on here. Yeah. More non screws, non screws. Well, <laughs> not looking too well here. Black screws, uh, black screws, music sample, hunky pokey, ho hokey pokey, Nancy. Uh, well, did they use chrome screws in the sets? Did they use screws at all? I don't, don't know. How does these attach? Anyhow, so occasionally these this plastic would get damaged on your cassette. So you could get like a blank cassette or tape you didn't really care for. Uh, undo the screws on both of them. Pop the a side off each one then you can just move the tapes to each side just kind of re-thread it through the the rollers up there and screw it back together put some tape on it and there you go so, 
but that requires screws. So I'm not entirely sure how those are together. They just pop together, or they screwed together. Anyhow, wow, this is turning out to, to be about 12 bucks a gel. <laughs> I'm lucky to find one set of screws. Um, I will go ahead and try one of those black ones just for fit. More black ones. Happy songs. Oh, here we go. There's some. So long. <laughs> what an appropriate uh, deal. Alright, so long it is. Alright, damn, I gotta get rid of some of these. I'm trying to. Taking over there. Alrighty, so now uh, I don't want to continue experimenting with these screws on my storm shadow because the um, you know these aren't metal inserts that are in these toys are plastic and the threads get get damaged or stripped pretty easy so. I'm moving on to a different character. Uh, this time I am going to be uh, working on, a, on a, one of their frogmen here. Cobras. I believe that's what they called them. It's slept since last time. So, as you can see, or hopefully you can see, the screws are pretty rusted. So, alright. And maybe I'll. So we can pull these out and eyeball them first. Ah, yeah, look at there. Now these screws are blunt, whereas the ones in the Joes are kind of pointed. But right away, it looks like there is a size difference between the two. I mean, just slightly, not a lot, but just slightly. So. All right, let's get us out a couple of these screws here and go to town. I should say go to town. Uh, do a little experimenting here. I'm gonna get this out of my way. All right, hopefully it won't damage this leg being rusted and not been removed in you know, 20, 30 years. So. All right, looks like it's turning pretty good. Give you an idea, I'll see the. I don't know if you can make it out on this video or not, but you can see one's, one's uh, pointed and one's blunt. Trying to give you multiple angles here. <laughs> Alright, here. So, let me try this out. I just want to do one at a time because I don't want these things falling apart on me. Uh, let's look here. Now you can clean the rust off these screws, but if they're really rusted and pitted, um, you're you're not gonna, you know, you can get them where they look pretty good. Speaking of looking pretty good, I mean that looks pretty good. Doesn't look quite as countersunk as this one, so I'm guessing. That anyway, might be this is a little short, but I don't know. But anyways, you can see, unlike on the storm shadow when I was trying to screw together, the legs uh, there seems to be sealed perfectly fine there. So and that looks way better I mean just way way better so here we go we get this other one off now I will keep these original screws and try to remove the rust off of them for future reference if you're really going to be uh, try to spruce these up even further you know you definitely want to clean out the rusted residue left in there 
Um, I'm just, I'm not trying to get these where they're, you know, look like they just came out of the package or anything. I mean, I may try it on a few of them, but uh, my favorites and so on. But I'm really just trying to spruce them up just a, a little bit, you know, fix the rubber bands, the O-rings, uh, get rid of some of the rusted screws. Speaking of, there you have that. Look at that. And that that's not too shabby there. I'm all shaking there. Alright, so speaking of O-rings, you can just see where there's a piece of the O-ring still stuck on that. So while we have him I'm gonna you can make it out the screws rusted on the back of that too so I'm gonna go ahead grab another screw <laughs> I guess if you really wanted to you could I don't know fill these holes up with some super glue and keep them together and still play them or something but uh, I think all my cassette players are in storage along with the rest of my stuff yeah you know yeah, see five screws and this is here we go well this is even there it goes it wouldn't even bite in there we go yeah, this, this guy, I figured he'd be rusted up. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, he's been in the water a few times. <laughs> a few dozen times. Actually, I think I, I had several of these. I think this is the only one that really survived. Uh, a lot of these didn't survive. Uh, I mean, they're... Uh, to say I had a whole lot of fun with these. Tons of fun. Alright, there we go. As usual, our broken O-ring. Uh, got my box of O-rings. Like I said, you can get these O-rings about anywhere. There's several G.I. Joe websites out there that sells them. You can get them on Amazon, eBay. So, I, it's been a while. I think I spent ten bucks or less on fifty. I, I can't remember. But uh, okay, as before, where did I put my pliers at? All right, we'll use some scissors. Oh, hang on here. I see my pliers. Okay, so as usual, uh, you need to stretch this uh, o ring out a little bit, so just slide it down. I spray, spread it out for a little bit, you know, not too much. You're not turning it into a slingshot or, <laughs> or anything, you're just kind of loosening up a little bit. They're, they're pretty stiff, so keep in mind these toys are you know 20 30 years old so uh, it's and they're mostly plastic so all right just need to do it about 30 seconds or so just to, you know see it's retained a little bit there all right that is going to be our back all right, let's go ahead and see if we can get the legs and the hip together. <laughs> well, this, this one's kind of being uh, pain. You know you want to go in there. There we go. 
ten minutes later. No, Alright. So I said the legs, now the hip. Just gonna squeeze those together. been together in a while now the fun part it's gonna be a little challenging I said a little I mean, it should be more positive There's several ways you could do this sometimes I just find it easier to do it this way so we want to be careful though. Yeah. Oh, I want to do this. Could be a sometimes they're easy, you know, and then sometimes they just fall apart on you. Uh, it's kind of hard to get them to, to set right. Where's it? There it is, it was hiding. And sometimes I can get the rest on everything. Yes, that's it sometimes, right? Okay. There we go. Looks like he's together. That head's just moving around really loose. I mean, no matter how I squeeze the seams together, no, well, well, where it is? It just it should be tight now. God, it's been a long time ago. Uh, been a long time, but I believe he had this apparatus that went to his back and came over and attached to his face there. Let's see if I can find that. Okay. Let me put this on here and adjust it. Kind of. Alright. Thought I had his arm on backwards. Oops. Head's still a little loose. So no, it goes like this, and then that turns. All right, been a, been a long time, but there we have it. We got yeah, yeah it's still really loose. I guess it's just really been worn in there some. Uh, you know, I played pretty rough with my toys. Anyhow, there we go. We got some new non-rusted screws in there, or somewhat new, uh, and a uh, new O-ring. Hey, those screws are probably 80s, <laughs> so. <laughs> that is fantastic. And a little 
There's there. I might even take that back off and see what I can do on that. So, all right. There we have it. I'm gonna put him over here. Now, let's. Since I know these screws will work, let's go ahead and pull out my storm shower real quick. Of course, I've got some some workers coming over I'm gonna do some work right here so it may get a little noisy and stuff so I don't know how much more I can do this Just there. almost to the house ah oh, yeah there we go look at that look at how nice that screw is and the legs see the gaps there's no gaps much much better than the uh than the uh ebay screws so come over here No gap. You don't want to get too overzealous tightening this in either. Keep in mind, I mean, these things are plastic, so you can strip them out. But look at there. Nice, shiny, new looking screws. If it helps, these screws probably came from the 80s. So, all right, I'm going to pull out this back screw and then put them back in this little case. Um, in the meantime, I thank y'all for watching and uh, hope you learned something out of this. You know, if you got some old uh, cassette tapes you're no longer using, uh, it's definitely be an alternative. So, we'll go digging for another tape. Yeah, you know, like I said, thank you for watching. Um, please check out my uh, my other videos, and uh, everybody have a great, awesome, wonderful day.